Hi everyone, I'm back with a really quick project share and tutorial. I found these hair clips on Amazon and um, I thought they would be really good to use in junk journals as page, um, like little ephemera clips to uh, make your, pinning your stuff in your journals easier. You can go like this. Um, and make them double-sided. So what I did was, in order to make them rusty, I just got a little glass jar like this, and I filled some of these in here. And I didn't do any measurements or specific amounts of the ingredients because what I found was people just poured what they thought was good. So I just did a little bit of salt, doesn't matter what kind. And then you fill it with mostly hydrogen peroxide. And then the rest you just fill with regular um, vinegar, white vinegar. And you let that sit for, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes. I'm just gonna set this aside. Let that sit and it'll react and start rusting the metal. Um, so in the meantime, I'm just going to show you what I did. I made this little clip with it. Um, I'm gonna glue on so another little cluster piece on the back so that it can be double-sided. Um, I was, I've been making a lot of these clusters lately. Here's some of them. Um, there. Little Tim Holtz people and a lot of ephemera from him and book pages, music pages. I've been just sitting in front of the TV when I get a moment and putting these together. They're super easy. I might put a tutorial together of just me putting these together. Um, they're really fun and addictive, so I like it, and it's kind of like an instant gratification type of project, so I love those. But um, anyways, in order to make the clips, all I did was I took the rusty paper, or the I keep calling them paper clips, I took the rusty hair clip, and I took a piece of paper like this, cut it, and then I folded it, and I'm just gonna cut a little slit in the very top of it so that the clip can go down in the middle. Doesn't have to be perfect. You, can, you I mean, you could rip it if you wanted to. You're not gonna see this part, so it doesn't really matter. And all I did was stick this down in the middle. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna be like this. It's gonna sit like that. And you're gonna glue, um, I might better just put the glue down first actually. You're gonna glue the top part of it right here and you're gonna put this back in. Oops, that was a little too much glue. And you don't, what I learned from making these is you don't want this paper to come too far up here because it's gonna stick out above your little cluster pieces or whatever you decide to put down. And you're just gonna glue that Get rid of some of this excess glue and then you're gonna glue the inside when you open it up it's gonna be the other side of the clip so you want to put glue underneath here or I'm sorry you don't want to put glue on the side you want to put glue on this other side and then that's gonna stick to that side so um, I've tried making this different ways. You could essentially just glue, put glue on top of the clip and then put your piece down on top of it like that. I just find that having this piece of paper here helps everything stick a little bit better. And you might have to mess around with it. There could be another way to do this easier and probably less messy, but I don't mind. So I'm just doing it this way. Um, so let's just make sure this is in the right position before the glue dries all the way. Okay, so what you're gonna have is you're gonna have this piece on top and then you're gonna be able to open it so that this is gonna go on, let me get it. This is gonna slide down on the page like that and you're not gonna see the other side of the clip. So we have that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these cluster pieces 
and I'm just gonna put some more glue all around. You wanna put it on the metal and on, on the paper so that the cluster piece can stick to it. And just position it to where you want. Slide it down, push it down. And then you have the top part. And then now what you wanna do is you wanna glue, if you want to have it double-sided, you can. So let me find another piece that I want to go down. Here's one. Let's see. Um, it's so hard to pick sometimes. We can do that piece that'll fit really well. And then put glue on this square. Stick your piece down. Make sure it's really stuck down. And then when you open it, it's perfect. You might have to kind of open and close it a little bit just so that they don't, the inside piece doesn't stick to that one. And push that down a little bit. So there you go. So let's just pretend this is like a page in a, in a journal. So you'll have a cluster on this side of the page and then when you turn the page, you'll have another cluster here. And then of course, when the glue dries, you'll be able to put, um, you'll be able to clip other pages and pieces underneath it and slide them out. I really love this idea and these clips are actually really inexpensive. I think it was like $7 for 50 of them. And they come in silver and gold, so you could do the same thing. You don't have to rust them. What I liked about these is there's this little hole here, so you can put hang um, dangles and tassels and you can embellish it even more. And it also kind of looks like a little clipboard, which I liked, so. Um, I just thought this was a fun idea. I really like the, the look of the rust, though. It makes it look really vintage. Um, so yeah, as you can see, they kind of all come out differently when they are resting in the solution. Um, make sure though, not to let your solution sit for too long because I left it outside and it bubbled, it like completely bubbled over. Every, they were fine, it just was a kind of a big mess. But yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoy this. I'm sorry I had to make this a really quick tutorial. It's over 100 degrees here. And I had to turn off the AC just so you guys could hear me. Um, but if you have any questions, you can always let me know. And um, I'll try to get another video up with my clusters up soon. Okay, hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching.